Anyways, back to last night. As you would imagine, I'm normally up for pretty much anything in the bedroom. But I can't tell if what happened was weird or sexy. Wait. Close your eyes. Okay. Ah. Shh, 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 shh. What are you doing? I like him cold. Okay. Not that weird. Cold? Like a dead guy? You're reading into that. Am I? You have a really nice chest. Thank you. I'd love to crack it open and get my hands all over your organs. Okay. I wonder how much your appendix weighs. <gasps> oh, it's inflamed. All right. Wait, that's bad, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, no. Ew! Please tell me you ran out of there. No. For some reason, I kind of started getting into it. Oh, what do we have here? A 34-year-old Caucasian male who is dead. Very dead. Mm. Cause of death? Initial assessment, blunt force trauma. But what do I find when I probe a little farther? Bruising around the neck and... Ocean water in the lungs. Ooh, how long have you been dead, body? Four days. Gross, bloating, odors. Oh, uh, 24 hours. Perfect. Here we go. Stop, stop, stop. Weird, weird, weird. Rosa, what's your call? Weird or sexy? Weird. I knew it. But also kind of sexy. You left without me. You were late, again. Well, I had to put on my undercover minivan disguise. Say hello to Harvey Norgenbloom, CPA, recently divorced father of two with a dark sexual secret. What's your cover? Angry Captain. Okay, so you do not like my ensemble. I'm just concerned that you may find it hard to pursue a criminal on foot while wearing man sandals. But the sandals define Harvey. He's a sandals guy. Blade Runner, Tron. Oh, Fievel goes west? Yes, sir. Love that little mouse. His journey, the story of America. I could not agree more. Fievel? Papa. Fievel? Papa. Fievel! Papa! Fievel! Can I have fun? Hey. Because I'm not. His mom put this stupid braid in my hair. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Please have my children. It's him. Parking lot on Flatbush and Vanderbilt in 15 minutes. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Diaz looks like a dirty criminal, but you look like a cop, man. You can't go over there like that. What'd you have in mind? Don't call it a comeback. I don't look like a cop now. No, you look like a Boys to Men Easter album. Burn. It's not a burn, it's cool. You look like an idiot. I didn't even have time to lotion my forearms. It's so weird wearing Rose's jacket. There's a piece of barbed wire in the pocket. Cool. All right, you have a visual on the hostess stand? Hi. Table for two, please. I'm so sorry. There's nothing available. We're totally booked up. Oh, no, that's horrible. Tonight's a really important night for us. Johnny and I just got engaged, and this is where our first date was. Oh, yeah, it would mean so much to Dora and me. I would have made a reservation, but I didn't know if she was going to say yes. Oh, I love how nervous you were, you little goose. <laughs> You were just so sweet together. You know, I'm sure I can find room for two young lovers. Yeah, <laughs> we are lovers together in beds. OK. Peralta, what are you doing? You're NYPD. You're supposed to be hostages. Supposed to be. But we rose up and took down the terrorists. That's right. We are the bad guys now. Is this some sort of game to you? Does this sound like a game? I am a terrorist leader. My name is Francis Gruber. My brother Hans died at Nakatomi Tower at the hands of John McClane. Also, I'm related to Jeremy Irons from the third one. OK, so it is a game. Well, I'm not playing. Drill's over. Drill's over, boys. Hi there. That's us. Oh, sweet home. Got them wings. Yeah. Ooh, OK. <clears throat> Boom, right there, behind the bar. That's my dad's type. Oh, he likes him neat and clean, real tidy. What? 
No, blondes. He likes blondes. All right, here's the plan. We're going to go sit down, order a couple of drinks, grab her fingerprints off the glass she serves us, and then measure her wrist for handcuff size. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh, oh crazy flight. Oh, those hydraulics were loud. Yeah. Ah, oh, bonjour, bonjour. Uh, two whiskeys, please. Chantel. Thanks. Say, I'm looking for an old sky pal of mine. Do you know Roger Peralta? Yes, yes, I do. How do you guys know Peralta? Uh, I used to fly with him back in Oregon. My name's Captain Spike Masters. This is my co-pilot, Wanda Cohen. I drive the plane when he sleeps. I also take care of hotel accommodations. Where'd you guys say you flew in from? Lockenberg. Akron. Connected in Akron. Took the old 78 Niner on the wind stream. You know, flights. Stuff. Yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, can we grab those two whiskeys, please? I do not know who you are, and I do not think you are pilots. Your suit doesn't even fit. <sighs> I had my stomach stapled. Security! Security! You sont des imposteurs. Je te l'ai. Unhand us. This is outrageous. I demand to speak with the Commodore himself. <sighs> There's no way we'll get her fingerprints now. Oh, really? Et voila. French. She cleaned the bar quite thoroughly, but this bottle is filthy with her prints. Smart. That's why you're the pilot, and I'm the co-pilot. Copy that, Wanda. Copy that. Wanda Cohen. Woo! This is awesome! Okay, just so we're clear, from this point forward, my call sign will be Death Blade. And I'll be Rum Tum Tugger. No, Boyle, no characters from Cats. Dig deep, think of something scary. Adolf Hitler. No! You will be Sidewinder. All right, but I'm more scared of Hitler. How about you, Captain? What's your call sign? I will be Captain Raymond Holt. Uh -huh, I knew you wouldn't play ball. And that is why your call sign is Wet Blanket. Sidewinder, this is Deathblade. Do you copy, Sidewinder? Over. This is Sidewinder, Deathblade. I read you loud and clear. Over. Do you have a 20 on Wet Blanket, Sidewinder? Over. I do have a visual. Over. All right, look, Captain. Once said that we could have anything we needed to solve this case. Yes, but why? To catch a murderer who stole $21 million. No, it's so that when we do fail, it'll be that much more spectacular. If we don't get D'Angelo, my career is over. But if we do catch him, your career will really take off. Chopper fun. Okay. So you guys are rich Europeans looking about Shelby. I'll make the introductions. Wait, we can't just be Europeans. What country are we from? What languages do you speak? French, Spanish, some Portuguese, obviously Greek, enough Flemish to get by. Tight. What about you, Peralta? Um, I can do a pretty good Italian accent. You think you could milk me? So you're just doing De Niro for Meet the Parents? I don't know, am I? It's a terrible De Niro. I don't know. This is De Niro. I think it's pretty good. No, mine's better. It's pretty good. <laughs> we'll just make you American. Okay. Griff. Hey, Doug Judy. Hey, what can I do for you? Hey, did my brother stop by? I heard he jacked some nice cars and I might have a buyer. This is Maxime Dubois, international millionaire. Bonjour. He doesn't speak any English. This is his lawyer, Carl Mangerson. Hey, I'm a lawyer. Maxime wants to buy a Shelby Cobra. Here, George might have one. Yeah, he just dropped off a few cars, but he didn't say anything about no Cobra. I mostly deal with scrap and crap, you know? Son of a bitch. Hey, is everything all right here, Maxine? You're speaking good English. That's yeah, just a few phrases he picked up from movies and such. <laughs> He's disappointed. He really wanted that Cobra. You know the French, so passionate. Even their skunks, Pepe Le Pew. It doesn't matter, I'm a lawyer, no further comments. Do you know what George is? Maybe I could do business with him myself. <laughs> Gertie! What? Uh, that was French for... <sighs> I gotta make a phone call. He's gotta make a phone call. Frenchman's. <laughs> you can't bring them anywhere. According to the community center calendar, amateur ballroom dancing competition. Ah, okay. I know how we're gonna blend in. Don't say thrift store. Thrift store! Watching, learning, waiting. His code name? Fuzzy Cuddle Bear. He's an Anacam. Ugh, you got lucky. No, I got here five minutes before you and figured that in this gigantic electronic store there had to be at least one working camera. Oh, hi, bad guys. You did it, Fuzzy. You busted him. It's time to come home. I'm not sure if I can. I've been undercover so long, I've forgotten who I am. I have seen terrible things. I haven't known the touch of a woman in many moons. All right. 
Detective Santiago? 